Так по... So now I have one, two, three, four, five. Still have the thing. I gotta change these. Hi. I go up. Uh, the people are expecting us to be done after one beat. I guess I want to go on and do the rest, but we'll have to do that on the next uh, available stop soon, hopefully. Good. Good. Good, Mecca. Good. Hi. Hi. Good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Show your tame, Mecca. Come on. Good, Mecca. Green one. If it's okay with your adult. Yeah, they said it's okay. Okay. Perfect. Be brave, Hoon. Are you fair? But your doggy. Does the dog look comfortable? Make sure the dog looks calm before you get too close. <laughs> See, the dog's a little nervous. Don't chase the dog. Be careful. Be calm. You got to understand the dog's kind of wild and uh, is happy to simply stand next to you. Good. Yeah, you're certainly brave to want to pet the dog. Are you fair? You might not be fair if you don't if you don't let the dog have enough space. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. This one's still Afghan hound. They're still a little wild. They yeah. like independence. Uh, yeah. But once you're part of the pack, then they be friendly to you. Mike. That's being calm. Michael's very calm. That's good. Slowly. Good. And if you can't, then you, that you're happy you got that close, right? You're happy you got that close. You did a good job. I'm trying to change batteries here. That's good. See how calm Michael is, Mecca? That's good. That's good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. There you go, Michael. Good job. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome, Michael. Okay, white one, green one, and I should have two in here now. Yeah, orange one. Good. I got three, and then that's the last one of these. No, there's two here. I got three, four. Now what do I have? Four. Hard for me to count.
having trouble with this one. I don't know why. Okay, because this is so drained. Purple. There's three of them, so I should have five here. One and three or four, and one is five. Okay. Good. Good, Mike. Good, Mike. God does good work, doesn't God? May what you do be as beautiful as how you look, Mecca. May what you do be as beautiful as how you look, Mecca. Submarine. Hi. Good luck. Good luck. Hi. Hi. Good. Are you being brave and being fair, you guys? Good. 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 Good, Mac. There's a fire department there. I wonder what that's about. Good. Hi. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Perfect side-by-side -side partners to and from God for you guys. Yeah. The Barakat. Good. Good. Up! Good! Hi. And perfect side-by-side -side partners, two and four. Say good night to the fusion reaction, Mecca. The sun is so orange at the end of the day. Hi. You're certainly brave. Are you fair? He's not, she's not afraid of that little dog. That's a big dog, not a little one. Yeah, you're intelligent too. You're brave and intelligent. Are you fair? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hey, you want to go back here, Mecca? Stop. Okay. 
Say good night to the Smithsonian Mall, Mecca. Three breaths, Mecca. One breath. Two breaths. Three breaths, Mecca. Come on. Hi. 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 Uh, I didn't offer him a card. He said he needed a card. I have the uh, Obama, the oath of office card. Hi. 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 Good Mecca, who's that? Hi. Ducks. Good. Food, shelter, clothing, savings. It's a lot of money for a fish sandwich and fries, $7. The fish sandwich should be maybe four dollars, two dollars for fries. Wow. I would think five thirty-five would be the price for a fish sandwich and fries. Hi. Good. The ducks like you, Mecca. Here come the ducks again. The ducks are following you. That's good, Mecca. Yeah, the horse manure, your favorite. You love the horse manure, don't you? Come on, come on, Mecca. Come on. Hi. 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 Are you being brave and being fair? Good Mecca.
Yeah. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Alhamdulillah. Allah Akbar. Nice family, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Um, teamwork, families, value, independence. on the internet and what else Good luck. Hi. Hi. Radcliffe. You gonna hunt Mecca? Good stalker. It's time to pray. Hungry, tired, yakana budu, yakana stain. Wow, look at who run. Wow, what long strides and big arm movements and ponytail flying out behind. Oh, Mecca. I'm so tired, if I pray, I'll fall asleep. 
At least that's how I feel. I gotta keep moving to, to stay awake, to get there. Just then I can pray and sleep. Take off a boot, barefoot lawn. <clears throat> That's good, Mecca. Medin Niyaka na buru wa iyaka na stain. A receipt or what? Washington Suites, Alexandria. Meetings, amenities. Yeah, let's all volunteer to man the metal detectors with the U.S. Capitol Police so we can go up on the terrace again. What are you getting, Mecca? Diarrhea? Diarrhea? Mecca? Diarrhea? Diarrhea? Here. Diarrhea. Some ducks.
Come here, Mecca. That's good. Perfect guard the fountain, Mecca. Good done. Good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. That's good. That's good. That's good, Mecca. That's good. Perfect guard the fountain, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Perfect. Ready, Mecca? Good, Mecca. Good job. Come here. That was well done. Good, Mecca. Stop. Good Mecca. Perfect guard the fountain Mecca. Good job. Good Mecca. What, what kind of a dog is this? Afghan. What's that? Afghan hound. Afghan hound. Yeah. Is he friendly? Uh, can be. Uh, they're sort of an independent breed. <laughs> they will protect your house all night outside. Watch the in the dark. They like to hunt. They like to make salat. They're good to sleep with in your bed, at the foot of your bed. They help. Oh, okay. So they're very protective. Yeah. yeah. Good hunters, protective, independent, and uh, intelligent. They uh, trying to remember. Sometime prayer time come, the dog go get the prayer rug and pull on it to make, to, to want to see Salat. Wow. Can we take a picture of it? Oh, sure. Yeah. We can try. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Mecca. Mecca? Yeah, Mecca. You want to say, get your picture taken with our Pakistani brother, Mecca? I'm from India. <laughs> oh, Alhamdulillah, India. Good, Mecca. Inshallah, uh, Gunja River water, clean enough to drink. <laughs> yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. It's kind of dark. You have enough light, yeah? Hmm. Maybe I take one of you two together with the dog. You like that? Yeah. Okay. Stay there, Mecca. Stay, Mecca. That's good. Stay there. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. That's good. Sit, Mecca. Yeah, you, you gotta touch this. Touch that, okay. The one on the bottom? This one. That good, okay. Good, Mecca. Good, Mecca. Good. Good. Good, Mecca. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I think maybe three. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect protect the fountain Mecca. Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. Hi. Hello. Hello Officer Gleason. How are you? I'm doing very well, Mr. Hale. 
Israel. How are you today? Glad to hear it. Okay. Mecca. Mecca. Yeah. And how's your family, should I ask? Everybody is doing very well. Oh, good. Everyone, thank you very much for asking. Glad to hear it. May I ask how you're doing today? A little tired at this point, but what a day, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, wow. It's about time. We've paid our dues. We've been freezing for yeah. six months, so yeah. it's time to, for it to get warm again. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. The only thing got to be careful of is the Russians made a federal police country club in Siberia. And uh, what goes on at the country club? I guess they assign agents there to uh, reward them. Uh, and then there was a conflict with the local town and they ended up shutting off the water against the to the town. The mayor protested or something. And really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good guard dog, Mecca. Perfect. See the segways. Good, Mecca. Yeah, no one likes the segways. Even the dog. <laughs> well, the dog wants to inspire you to protect yourself like that. Um, so, my guess would be what we could do to inspire the people uh, to understand, not no, so no one could reasonably misunderstand that we had a federal police country club here. Yeah, I don't know exactly what That'd be nice. would need to be done to body language or you guys rewrite your job assignments the way you think they could best be done or mm -hmm. well we do that all we we offer suggestions all the time and great they don't listen hello oh dear well keep them on file so after we get elected we can ring the bell and <laughs> you guys can hand them in sounds like a good idea yeah Oh, she's so beautiful. Or, yeah. or he. <laughs> Mecca. Ah. Yeah, we go by the name and worry about the gender later, <laughs> if necessary. Gorgeous dog. Is she an Afghan? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We like to breed them and train them and donate them to Afghan villages and U.S. towns. Are you serious? Yeah, they can protect, like, from here to the Smithsonian Castle pretty easily. Put a radio collar on them. They roam around. They watch out for you all night. Yeah. Well, thanks to good vibes like yours, the dog remembers that. <laughs> Have a nice evening. It's on to you. Um, yeah, I've been volunteering today. I tried to volunteer to work with USCP to uh, man metal detectors at the foot of the stairs so that we could have enough personnel to let people go up on the West Terrace again. That's very nice of you to offer. Mm. Well, hopefully, I, mean, I'm, I'm I was just yeah. thinking about that. I was up there earlier today, and yeah. I remember when people yeah. used to just walk around up there. Yeah, it was very open. And, President you know. Vincent Fox from Mexico was there one sunrise. I met him there. Ethel, really? Ethel Kennedy came by before she died. Wow. Yeah, we looked out over them all together. It was like she was. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame that it's not, because it should be open. It's a beautiful view up there. Yeah, it's so inspiring. I mean, you can sort of get the idea here, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And the kids, the, they learn something, too, instead of thinking, I'm always down here and the others. Yeah. You know, it's we are the people. You're up there. Right. It's the people's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we just work here. Yeah, well, uh... Uh, there's no reason we can't put in suggestions or get our friends to contact our elected officials. And exactly. That's the way it works. It's supposed yeah. to. Yeah. Hello. He wants to take a photo with you. Oh, okay. Hi. He, he likes uh, Bob's <laughs> You're certainly brave to get your photo taken with the police officer. Good. 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 Good you. Thank you. All right. Allah Akbar. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Well, he'll remember that for a while. Yeah, I hope so. God willing, yeah, I hope. Yeah, and you like that too, Mecca. I used to live over in uh, Cairo, Egypt, for a couple of years. Wow. I remember uh, 
meeting the, the police officers at the pyramids when I was wow. a little kid, and and I, I got a patch from them. So wow. I kind of like to do the same thing now, the little kids, you know, because yeah. it was pretty cool. I yeah. was interested in the patch and talking to the police, and here yeah. I am. Wow. I wonder if they're still doing that. So I don't, things are crazy over there. Yeah, I've yeah. always wanted to take my family back there, but it's been so unstable for so long. You know, well, hopefully maybe, yeah. before yeah. you know it, it's too late, I'll uh, be able to go back over there with them. Yeah. Hello. Good. And you? How friendly? A uh, medium friendly. Medium. <laughs> Is that an Afghan? Afghan hound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's a puppy, still, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still very young. It gets bigger. Uh, it takes about six months to get almost full size, so that's about it, I think. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. You want to say hi, Mecca? No, no interest at all. Well, sort of. Trying to remember. But there you go. Good, Mecca. Perfect. Be friendly. One of you people. Good, Mecca. Beautiful. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Absolutely. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar, exactly. <laughs> oh, you speak Arabic? Uh, only Salat. Uh, so I speak Salat, a couple oh, so of surahs actually, not very much, but enough. Are you Muslim? Uh, yeah, may Allah accept my Islam. How about yourself? Uh, one of you too. Alhamdulillah. Always. Well, assalamu alaikum, Alaykum, brother. Alhamdulillah. Alaykum, How are you? Good man, how are you? Alhamdulillah, big day, long day. That is really beautiful dog. Honey? Keep in distance? <laughs> <laughs> She's the brave one in the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, Abu Bakr would uh, keep the distance, but Abu Bakr thought like Muhammad. <laughs> Ali would be close. He was the closer yeah. body. I'm the one that takes those home and play with them all day. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I want to take care of Wa alaikum Sometimes when the police are walking around, it seems more like they're part of us uh, uh, on patrol walking than when they're simply standing and looking at us. It's like they're spying or they're, they're different from us. Uh, I might be wrong, but that's kind of how it feels to me. Yeah, we're not spying. We're just yeah. making sure that people you know, don't go up the steps like they're yeah. supposed to. But I, I like, like I said, I like talking to the people and yeah. taking pictures and yeah. telling them what I know about the capital and my experience and asking where they're from and yeah. you know, kind of participating in this. And yeah. I think when we're standing out here, you know, when everyone's around here, they just see us as a good thing, I'd like to think. And, yeah, I would you know, hope, if yeah. They have questions, they come over and ask, you know, so. I get, it'd be one thing if we were down here with rifles and uh -huh. you know all that, uh -huh. and videotaping everything. Uh -huh. that's, yeah. That's a little oppressive. Yeah. You know, we can yeah. get the job done without being, you know, too strong. Uh -huh. you know, a presence where people feel intimidated and don't want to come up and talk. To yeah. Us. So yeah. We try and, and walk a, a thin line yeah. here where we allow access. You know. Uh -huh and inside the building on the grounds and stuff but yeah. at the same time we try and keep the building in one piece and let congress do their job for better or worse yeah uh, it's four years with no budget yeah that's crazy mm. i'll just do continuing resolutions for mm. keep kicking it down the road you know yeah that's what they've been doing yeah well then to convey the officers at the ready and receptive and available is the key to the body language and positioning is what you're saying, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you're like far enough away from, you're not hanging on the fence or leaning on it, you're a little in front of it, yet you're still close enough to the building that your back is reasonably protected. And, right, uh, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah, I've been out here, they just hang on the fence, used to, and 
but then this big difference. Mm -hmm. Just 10, yeah. 12 feet can make a big difference in body language. Mm. Then at night, sometimes they idle the van. Whew, that bothers me a lot. They're out here by the fountain with the van idling. It's cold, yeah, but mm -hmm. they're all in the van and I knock on the door and they wouldn't come out, so I opened the door. It wasn't locked. I said, <laughs> come on really? out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they came out. <laughs> I bet they did. <laughs> well, kind of meekly, actually. I was really angry. They, they should at least have one person standing outside. There's like three or four of them in there, you know, kids hanging out in their van. And then the, he come in, get warm, let the other one come out or something. And you don't you know, exhaust, you know, putting soot and dirt on the, the fountain wall and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're right over there. And a few things like that during the Iraqi war when you're already bummed out on the internet reading about all the false excuses and Cheney shooting his hunting partner after I gave a CD to a U.S. Supreme Court. And I said to Quigley's friend, the next day, headline, uh, Cheney shoots hunting friend. <laughs> oh, man. So that's kind of bummed me out. It's really good to get back and find the guys who are still here are like the old guys. They're mm -hmm. be much better attitude. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, North Korea? Yeah, go see the movie uh, Olympus. Has fallen. Has fallen, yeah. Have you? Did you see it? I haven't seen Last it. Last night I saw it, yeah. And in it, the North Koreans take over the White oh, House. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Huh. White House is currently closed. That's funny. Was it any good? Was it worth seeing? Or was it... Oh, it's like a bunch of kids bang, bang, shooting all what's going to play Army when your kids bang, I got you. No, you missed. Ah, bang. Yeah. But they, you know, they totally shoot up the White House, all these, like... 60 Secret Service agents get shot. Really gory, realistic uh, mm -hmm. uh, action stuff, you know. And then the plot gets a little trough, and I guess at the end it, it escalates, and there's some big deal. What I learned from it was you got to have three different buttons. Like Supreme Court needs one, the Speaker of the House needs one, the Pentagon, and maybe two other, maybe five different buttons. If they're all pushed simultaneously, then it blows up the White House bunker safety room. And that solves the whole problem of that movie, because in that movie, they're in the bunker, and they get taken hostage, and then they're torturing them, and they get the Cybris codes out of the oh, yeah. uh, president's buddy, and that allows them to disable the U.S. nuclear warheads. Wow. Huh. So you got to be able to destroy any yeah. place they could do that. A lot of imagination for that movie. You, that was kind of the high point of the imagination. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Mecca liked it enough so that we left early. The Secret Service kind of came by and said, get out of here. <laughs> they didn't want me to be there when the lights came up. It's kind of obvious. They feature some dogs in the movie and everything. It was like a kind of a personal message in some ways. They gave him, uh, you're one of us now. They gave the kid a badge in the movie. and made me feel like they're making up for all the shit they gave to me and Mecca over the years, man. Yeah. yeah. Alright, bye. As unto you, who? God willing, you, we hope. So, I guess 45 is the next one coming up about Willie Mays. Yeah. Yeah, I've been so saying I for heard about, you that, heard about yeah. that. Okay, yeah, maybe we can get uh, USCP to get numbers for their backs, like Willie Mays. Has. I heard you suggested yeah. that. Yeah, good. If we could get some nice jerseys, I'd, yeah. I'd wear one. Yeah. I think that'd be good. I'd like to see like Velcro for any back that you have, a jacket or a uniform, and then you could put the number on. You get your break, you can change the number. Yeah. Uh, something weird happened i'm gonna go change my number or i'll be back in five minutes after it's you know resolved enough right so no one stalks anybody stairway to heaven. yeah stairway to heaven that's what i should make a music video about getting the metal detectors <laughs> that's right <laughs> There's a complaint. It's not open Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's when most of the people are able to come and visit, at least the locals, you know? Yeah. Or if you're in town. You, know, you get a weekend, that's all you have, yeah. and half of the time it's closed. Yeah. Have you guys put that one in and they say, what, we don't have enough money or something to do? Oh, they, they say we don't have money for everything we mentioned. Yeah. That's just the first thing they say. Uh -huh. we, we don't even finish a sentence. Uh -huh. Not enough manpower, or uh -huh. we don't have the money for the overtime, or training, or anything. Well, that's where we need to um, study up and how many police officers do you need so for how many volunteers so you can be pretty sure that you're not going to get infiltrated by a phony volunteer. His buddy comes by, make sure he goes through him and gets the gun in mm -hmm. up the steps. Uh, you got to, I would have it put up numbers. You pick a number. So the metal detector and a USCP officer and one or two uh, volunteers and then everyone picks a number like at the butcher shop. We all stand around anywhere out here, so right. we don't have to worry. Your number's displayed. You don't want to call it out because it interrupts the piece. Mm -hmm. You see the number, only the person holding that number. You hold up your number and walk yeah. over and you can go up. And that way, the numbers could be random enough. It'd be hard for them to coordinate. You come through mine, you come mm -hmm. through mine. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. And two sets maybe have one metal detector down here and go up, go through a second time mm -hmm. up there. And that, yeah. Then you could use more volunteers. The more times you have to go through, the more volunteers you can use. And we have plenty of metal detectors from the 4th of July. Oh yeah, we got plenty of those. So you need to talk with your security experts and mathematicians who know um, uh, stochastic processes and they can predict what how the probability of infiltration decreases as the number of times you go through increases mm -hmm. and they get an optimum you know five times it goes wait you know, your marginal chance slows down right. cost goes up right. so they find all oh, three times is just as good almost as five times or they, they figure it out yeah. I made a cartoon out of it, this guy going through a metal detector, he looks all tired and he's holding up in a, uh, his bag to put on the thing and the guy says, only two more uh, metal detectors to go. <laughs> and the other guy says, yeah, but no photo ID to get in. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a huge cafeteria they put in the visitor center. Mm -hmm. With huge prices. Oh, I haven't checked that out. You don't want it. It's too expensive. There used to be a pretty reasonable uh, Senate uh, cafeteria when they were in session. There was mm -hmm. always a place to go get a sandwich no matter how late it was. Yeah, yeah. But the, we go there every now and then. But as far as I know, that's not available for uh, We the People anymore. No. Huh? No, that's the staff and... I don't think you can do. I mean, if you're here with, with if you're visiting somebody, yeah. you know, then they could take you down there. But as far as the tour and all that, they they want you to eat in their cafeteria. But if you're up there and you're concerned about this NRA bill that you want to have go through, so don't take our guns away, and you're up in the gallery watching, and it's 11:30 at night, and you haven't eaten since 5:30 or something because yeah. you had to get in there, what are you supposed to do? go all the way out to Pennsylvania Avenue while they vote exactly. and you come back and it's done? No. Right. That's what they want you to do. Yeah, it's supposed to be open to the gallery people too to go eat with uh, the USCP and everyone there. There's everyone headed through. I guess they're bus. What else do you or I need to know? Oh. I said he takes them home and plays with them all day. I wonder if he's an interrogation expert. Uh, oh, here he is here. I didn't realize he's still here. Hi. <laughs> Hmm. 
anything else? What do we need to do? Get back and see if we can find this other iPod I can't account for, Mecca? <laughs> I got one purple iPod, hopefully still on my desk. Uh, <laughs> what else, Mecca? You did a good job guarding the fountain. Yes, you did. Mecca found the duck and then ran back and forth and learned how to do a 360 thing there. And Yeah, there's a pair of ducks that always they come back every year and the female make a nest in those trees. Oh, wow. The well, male, he's, he just hangs out. He's been, the duck was here since like 7 o'clock this morning. Wow. When we first came out. Uh-oh. Well, that's the last time we'll do that then. <laughs> um, now, did you say you had a Chesapeake Retriever, was that? No. You? No, so I have a standard poodle. Ah. And, uh, and uh, we have a smaller poodle, a toy poodle. Mecca, no digging there. What's that? Hello. Mecca! Stop! You okay? Good. Perfect stop, Mecca. Stay. No, um, sit down. Right here. Sit. 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 Good. Sit. Good. Stay. You okay? Perfect stop, Mecca. That's perfect stay. You got to be careful. They don't understand your idea of playing. Yeah. That's good. How are we going to work on that? Get you probably have to get that radio collar and give you a couple of shocks when you do that, so you know not to do that. How are we going to do that? Before 9/11. That would be a good title of a book, Before 9-11. Yeah, I forgot what it was like. Yeah. It got like it was a long, long time ago. Yeah. I was supposed to work with old Bush. I was supposed to have a cell phone and call him or something. And Thanks for your time, sir. Good day. Thank you. Good night. Nice to meet you. Good Mecca. No jumping up towards the kids. Well, parting is such sweet sorrow. I guess that's why they call them partners. Nice to talk with you again. Okay, Mr. Hale, have a good evening. You too, Officer Gleason and Buddy. That's good, Mecca. Perfect stop when I said to stop, Mecca. Good job. Three breaths, Mecca. What are you hunting up there? You see anything? You smell anything? One breath. Uh, well, maybe that was whose way of repenting before 9-11. Good. Good. Lean into it a little bit. Hi. Teamwork.
Here's three with lights and two that are dark. See, that's a good way to do it. GPS conversation earlier today. Yeah, you love it out here, don't you, Mecca? Perfect, empty or bladder, Mecca. Three breaths, Mecca. One breath. Hopefully, who hasn't figured out your modus operandi and bring by um, mildly hysteric kids and then you sort of get their vibes and pounce towards them and they scream. That's lead us not into temptation. We've got to make sure you learn to stop before you get that close. And you did a good job on that order to stop. Yeah, you did. Then again, who may be trying to help train before it gets too uh, becomes a real problem you know give some test runs so we learn to solve it in advance they could be doing us a favor hi Mecca Teamwork.